As we look at the results for the year, very, very strong results, as you said, four billion quarter, uh, four billion um, profit in the in the year, rising from the loss, obviously, of last year. You're absolutely right, helped by that impairment right back, but more importantly, helped. I think what we're seeing is increasing activity among our customer base and also very, very strong loan print. We issued 36 billion pounds of new mortgages this year. That's a, a really significant number and really shows the strength of the of the market that's in there. So pleased with the results. Two point nine um, billion of uh, attributable profit and obviously we declared strong um, dividends out as well. As we look into next year, we do see this growth continuing to come through. We're given some market guidance today for our income to rise um, to over a billion pounds as we move forward and also for our strong cost takeout to continue as we move into next year. The, so as we go to next year, certainly feeling quite positive at the moment. The, the mortgage market in the UK has been fascinating over the last two years, defying the sceptics who thought Omicron um, and the Delta wave would basically shut down the UK uh, property business. My question really is about how strong you think it can be from here, given that we have seen this terrific inflation in property prices, which does appear to be topping out. And there's a, a real problem with supply to the market, it seems. Well, and I think the supply issue is also what drives the strength of the market because there is that, prob that inherent problem in, in supply. So as we look at the mortgage market going forward, we do expect 22 still to be a, a year of growth. We have now grown to 11% share of the market, which has been a strong growth over the last number of years. And certainly into 2022, we will see that. I think the numbers will be muted. You won't see the 36 billion um, being written again this year, but still very, it will still be very strong. And with, I think, slightly more muted house price increase as well. Well, but in our own economics, we do still expect that both the market to increase and the, the price of the housing stock to increase as well. Uh, can I ask you about the impact of interest rate hikes at this point? I mean, as we talk about the UK, we've had uh, these uh, series of rate hikes so far, cost of living crisis uh, as people are facing higher energy bills and other inflationary aspects across uh, that uh, would normally hit their budget. What stage do you think that this impacts the bank to the, the negative side where we're not just talking about interest rate margin expansion? Yes, I mean, obviously you're right, interest rate margin expansion, but the, the cost of living um, for our customers is something that's really important. Now, if you look at most of our customers who are on um, mortgages, for example, they're fixed rate loans, so they won't see any impact on their, their mortgages in the in the immediate short term. So that gives them some, some stability and protection from the interest rate rise as we go through. And what we do is we spend a lot of time working with customers. We did last year over a million different financial health checks. So we sit down with the customer base and say, actually, how do you better manage your money in in, as we look into this inflation rising, interest rate rises um, as, we, as we go on from there. At the moment, though, when we look at it, our, we're not seeing signs yet in our, in our um, loan book of that strain coming through. It will take a little bit more time, and I think that gives us the time to make sure that we can work with our customer base so that they're feeling comfortable as to how, how they can manage, manage those, those rate increases. So what is the outlook then for the mortgage portfolio? You had net lending up £7.8 billion over the course of 2021. You say that was primarily driven by growth in mortgages. Does that mean we all see any shuffling in demand across the loan portfolio towards other aspects away from mortgages as we see these increases? No, no, certainly. I think this year, um, as we look through 2021, we saw strong growth in mortgages. We also saw some um, growth in unsecured and interestingly as you move into that commercial space in our invoice financing and asset financing we saw a billion pounds of growth in those balances over the year so that's really important from a commercial side because that's where you see the first kind of activity to know that actually the corporates really are coming back in in, in terms of that that activity you know revolving credits have, have still kind of stayed at the same sort of level and when we look at that corporate and commercial space there's a lot of they still have a lot of strong deposits. But seeing that growth coming through on invoice and asset financing, so it shows actually we can see that post-Omicron, post post-Delta, actually there is a lot of confidence in that space and people are really beginning to, to move forward with their businesses as well. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.